Okay, get ready, North Texas. We're just a month away from another uh, year of the Fort Worth International Air Show at Alliance Airport. Every October, over 50,000 people flock to Alliance over the weekend to watch the biggest air show of the year. But this year, according to officials, people can expect a few changes. Austin Wright joins us now in studio with more on this story. Hey, Austin. Hey, Jeff. That's right. This year, thanks to budget cuts, can we roll the prompter up just a little bit? There, there we go. <laughs> Thanks to federal budget cuts, or the sequester, better known as, organizers of the Fort Worth International Air Show had to get creative in filling a big gap after the Blue Angels and Thunderbirds were grounded after their funding was pulled. However, officials at the Alliance Air Show say the show will go on. The Thunderbirds, the Blue Angels, two of the nation's best military exhibition teams are no strangers to the skies over Alliance Airport in Fort Worth, Texas. For over 20 years, President of Alliance Aviation Services Thomas Harris says these two legendary flying teams dazzle North Texans with high-speed maneuvers and supersonic flybys. But this year, you won't see them. People love coming to see the Blue Angels and the, and the Thunderbirds. They are the main attraction of air shows in this country. So when we lost the opportunity to have either one of them at the show this year, you know, the first reaction was, how do we produce a show? Both the Navy and Air Force's wings were clipped after $85 billion in spending cuts was imposed on the federal government this year, forcing all military exhibition teams to pull out of the 2013 air show season. Over 200 air shows are affected by the federal budget cuts, 60 of which have already canceled their shows for the entire year. And with the Blue Angels and Thunderbirds not performing, it's forced the officials here at Alliance to look elsewhere for new talent. With no military participation, Harris and his team turn to the civilian-owned Black Diamond Jet Team. Based in Lakeland, Florida, this five-jet aerobatics team has already performed at dozens of air shows this year. We think we've got a great show. We think uh, that the lineup of performers is probably the best uh, civilian lineup that uh, a show could have this year. Uh, we've got the Black Diamond Jet Team out of Florida, which is a group of L-39 uh, jet aircraft that will be our, our prime act. Other acts will return again this year. One in particular is the Kavanaugh Flight Museum's Tora Tora Tora, which reenacts the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Executive Director Doug Jean says it's one of the crowd's favorite acts. The Kavanaugh Flight Museum has been doing the Alliance Air Show since its inception, so we've always been a major part of it, and now it just kind of puts us a little bit more center stage. But uh, we're ready for it, and you know the crews are getting the airplanes ready now, and, and we're all we're really excited. Organizers are going in a different direction and will focus mostly on World War II and air and ground displays that will include aerial dog fights, bombing runs, and a ground fight between German and U.S. troops. Air show officials are hopeful the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds will be back flying next year. Okay, but I guess that's up in the air. You know, that's will they be the back air. next year? And, and just uh, for all you Blue uh, Angels and Thunderbirds fans, you know that right now there are current meetings with the Department of Defense trying to restore funding for next year. So hopefully, they'll be back for 2014. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. Question yeah. does it again. Yes, yep, question does it again. But a huge part of the uh, the local economy and the community, people turn out, I mean, thousands, hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. sometimes turn out for that air show. That's absolutely right. In fact, officials were saying that over 50,000 people come to North Texas for this air show. This is one of the biggest air shows, not yeah. only in the state, but in the country. This is a big deal. In fact, last year uh, was one of the only years and air shows in the country that had two major performers. They had the Thunderbirds and they had the Snowbirds. So a very, very wow. different show from last year year but officials as you saw hey they've got a, a backup plan and everything looks like it's still going to go off without a hitch okay and I don't want to let you go Austin without explaining there's a little bit of a history between you and Mr. Murray <laughs> there's Scott there you want to explain that uh, how well, do you know I, this guy is I, is, do I, call I, I, work, I work with his dad for 20 years and now here I am on the set with his son that <laughs> really makes me feel old yeah. for those of you that used to uh, be viewers at NBC Brad Wright is his father yes. and, uh, and, and if you know so, Brad hey he's He's got some big shoes to fill. And let me tell you something. You are so much like your father. Just every yeah. movement you have, I, yeah. I, oh my gosh, yeah. this is spooky. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm 30 years old, and that man is still my hero, so I always take that as a compliment when well, I hear he's, it. He's yeah. a good hero. It's yeah. good to see you. Tell we're glad to have you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and thanks. Sure. I remember yeah. when you were born, Austin. That's a bad thing. Wow, yeah. <laughs> well, come on back sometime. Absolutely. Right. Thanks, okay, Jeff. Thanks. And coming up you. next here on the Texas Daily, the hurricane that struck Texas on this day in history. We'll have that uh, remembrance for you coming up next. Stay here. You're watching the Texas Daily.